Hi, you guys. Okay, so it's been a while since I have posted up anything about vlogging of like my life. Um, today I did go um, celebrate my friend's birthday. Uh, we went horseback riding. It's actually my first time. Um, it was quite an adventure. For those of who has not gone horseback riding, I would probably say definitely I recommend it. Um, it kind of expand my mindset a little bit further out too. It was quite an experience. It was, I wouldn't know how to explain it. I'll just say you definitely have to try it so you kind of know uh, what horseback riding, how it feels like, how it's like. Um, I'll tell you guys my experience. <laughs> um i had no like i was like okay like i've been planning this for weeks because it's her birthday and um it was something she wanted to do so i was like okay i'm ready for this i'm so excited because you know it's like definitely something different new um i was like okay i'm so ready for this i'm so ready to go horseback riding and so it happened behold today i went horseback riding and i was just like when the when they brought the horse okay so when the staff brought the horse i was like because we're standing on like this little thing because i'm a little bit short <laughs> and we're standing on, on um this board to try to get onto the horse and i'm like in my head i start thinking like oh my gosh these horses are huge you know like they're big like they're taller than me okay <laughs> um and i'm just like i was I had a little fear too. I got a little scared because I'm like, oh my God, this horse is huge and it's so high up the ground. Um, I should also tell you guys, I, I'm i actually don't, not a huge fan of heights too. So I, I guess you could say I'm afraid of heights. Um, and I'm just like thinking in my head, like I can't build out anymore because I pay for this and I'm going to have to go ride the horse because two of my fr friends already got on their horse. So I was like, there's no turning back. You just got to have to get on the horse and you just got to go. Um, it was quite an adventure when I was on the horse. When I finally got on the horse, I was like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I had to self-talk myself, right? Like, I can do this. I can do this. Don't be afraid. You're going to be just fine because I have never come up that close to a horse before like that close you know like you like i will see like you know like you know the only time you probably see it is like on tv or if you're going to the fair or like you're seeing police officer riding the horse right but it's a distance from you um never before have I ever ridden a horse so i'm like oh this is quite an experience like definitely out of my comfort zone definitely i would say it's an adventure for me for sure <laughs> and so that's what happened i got on the horse um, they had to line us up and in my head I'm like okay okay and then the staff was like trying to tell me like this is how you're gonna control the horse this is what you need to do to like they're like if you pull it back closer to your stomach like the ring like the rope that goes in the horse and then they're like pull it closer to you so that way the horse knows that you need that the horse need to know how to stop and I was like okay okay and then they're like and I'm like so like they're just teaching us like how you pull it how you tell it so that you know like the horse understand you're supposed to go left right right i got part of it and then part of me was like i have no clue what they're saying to me <laughs> because it's like okay because if you've never ridden a horse it's like it's almost like a foreign language to you too right anything that you do in life rather it's a new job rather it's a you know new relationship or um, riding a uh, driving a new car or something like that it's always a learning process during those times right so I was just like and you know and it becomes a foreign language for you until you kind of get used to it and then it becomes it will actually become just a language to you right so that was basically what it was was like riding the horse was like a foreign language to me I didn't understand it I'm like yeah yeah I was just like uh-huh yeah yeah but half of the time I didn't even know what she was saying all I was thinking was like don't freak out <laughs> don't because both of my friends was like almost to the left, almost to the right. And then because I was like very high up on the ground too. So I'm like, a lot of things was running through my mind. You guys have to understand. I was like running, so much stuff was running through my mind. I was just like, okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I don't got it. Okay, you guys. Like sometimes you're like, okay, I got it. I got it, right? And then you're like, I don't think I got it. But we're, we're just going to go. We're going to go. We're going to let 
it'd be an adventure and you're just gonna learn as you go right so that's basically what was running through my head like okay i got it and then um you know for a moment i thought that they were gonna let us go by ourselves with our group right and then i was like um <laughs> i got a little scared so i asked the staff and i was like um you guys are going with us right and she's like oh yes there's gonna be two people going two people going with you guys on this group i'm like oh thank you i felt a little relief because i'm like oh my gosh I like because in my mind so many things was running through my mind like what if the horse ran off the the trail what if it started running you know because you know of course we do know ro horse do run okay because we i seen it on movies i seen it on tv shows right horse do run so i'm like uh what if it runs off and because you know like these are huge humongous horses okay and i was just like oh my gosh and so that's why i had to ask the question like um are you guys going with us and they're like yes there's two people i'm like when she's like two people i'm like oh i feel relieved <laughs> because i was kind of like i don't think i'm ready to ride this horse you know but when she said there's two people two staff going with us i i feel a little bit better and i was like okay i got this we can do this because there's gonna be two people who know how to ride these horses who are you know staff here they're they're used to these horses the horses are used to them so we're gonna be fine and i was like okay i feel more relieved so we so we started off our trail right um i do have a story to point this but we did we started our trail and you know i was laughing and i told my um i told my uh one of my friends like i feel like mulan <laughs> riding this horse because you know why i say that i feel i feel like mulan because that horse is so strong it's very i was like a very powerful horse too you know and you know sometimes like you know the horse kind of went off track a little bit i had to pull off on the horse try to follow the direction you know and it was hard that horse is super strong you think that you're strong no that horse is so much stronger and like i had to pull on the ring to make like pull on the rope to like let the horse know hey i'm still in charge we gotta get back on the on the trail why was i have to do that because the horse wants to go snack on like grass leaves <laughs> and they're going off track and we have to pull them back so we are in charge of like trying to pull our horse back on the trail so that we could still continue on our trail and on our path right so that's what that's why i say i feel like it was i was like mulan <laughs> and everything because you have to be strong you have to know what you're doing you you're you're basically you have to stay focused as much as if even though the horse went off track you know and it's just like going back focusing focusing right so like the whole point of me sharing that is too is that it got me thinking on the trail like as we're going through that trail it made me thought about you know what like life life is like an adventure you don't know what you're getting yourself into you know like you could be afraid you know because i was afraid when i was gonna ride that horse i got scared because that horse was humongous um I was scared because I could have fallen off. I could tell you that. That was the most thing I was afraid of when that horse kept going to go eat the grass. I was scared that I was going to fall off that horse because that horse is, is way bigger than me. And so I got scared. So I was like, oh my gosh, I, the only thing I want to do is do not, fall, do not fall off the horse. I wasn't even thinking about the horse running off. I was kind of more thinking like, don't fall off the horse because there's no seatbelt. There's nothing, you guys, <laughs> to really secure you up there. You better hold on to the rope that is there or the, like, the saddle just to try not to fall off the horse, okay? And so I was just like, oh my gosh, that was the whole thing that was running through my mind. And you know, when you're able to like, control the horse just basically listen to the staff and you know um try to get your horse back onto the trail and you know it takes a lot of you as an individual courage to do that too even though like there is someone still guiding you and still helping you but you know like it takes a lot of courage for you to be able to hey you know what did they teach me what did what did i learn um how could i do this so that the horse doesn't freak out and try to swing you off the off its back too you know um and not try to make it run off as well with you on it right um even though there was a staff there but you know it was basically you're still in control of that horse and you you know like it was a i was afraid i was scared too but i held on and like i was praying the whole time too i was like god please help me <laughs> because i was like i'm scared <laughs> i was like jesus 
take over you know like i was just saying all this stuff in my mind because i'm like oh come on come on like this horse is so strong how i'm gonna be able to direct the horse back onto the trail to go along with its buddies and um the rest of the group you know so like you know sometimes when i think about it it got when i was thinking and i was riding the horse i was like life is such an adventure it's just like that too life we don't know what we get ourselves into the decision we make in life every decision that we do every decision that we make in life right it's an adventure rather you think hey is it right is it wrong you just don't know you just have to go and ride it so you know like sometimes we could be afraid but ride it afraid you know ride the ride life afraid ride the horse afraid you know um because I'll tell you, you may think you're not ready for it, but you are ready for the adventure. You are ready to ride your life. You know, you are ready to ride the horse. So it's like, you know what? Just go and ride. You'll learn as you go. Um, you know, it's just sometimes it makes me think about like, you know, sometimes in life, you know, our brothers, our sister, our older brothers, sisters, rather younger or older, your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, they teach you, they tell you because they've gone through that life path. They could teach you as much as they know and as much as they can through the life path that they have gone through to teach you about life, right? Because they have experienced it before you beforehand. Yes, listen to them. Yes, take it into consideration. Yes, listen to what they went through, their life experience. But you know, when you actually go through it yourself and when you actually ride it yourself or go through that life experience yourself, yes, you'll remember everything they taught you. Yes, you'll remember everything that they have gone through, their experience, right? But then you're going to have to remember that you, when you're going through it, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Yes, it's going to be, sometimes life could be, life could, could throw you like a curveball life could throw you like you know a smooth path or sometimes life could be a little crazy um but you know what don't be afraid as much as you're afraid go through it anyways you know because you're going to come out stronger and better and you're going to come out more knowledgeable from that experience you know and oh my gosh i'll tell you that's that's what i learned when i went through this um this horseback riding with my friends and them today it just made me realize that you know what life is an adventure life can be scary it can be calming it can be enjoyable it can go off trail a little bit and you just have to learn to direct it back onto the trail again because at the end of the day you are in control no matter what you do uh, no matter if it you know, if the horse took you off track, life took you off track, you just have to learn to direct it back. Even though you are scared, you're afraid, you don't know how to do it properly. But you know what? As long as you could get yourself back on your trail, your life path, just like today with my experience trying to get the horse back on the trail, it was scary. But you know what? You're just going to have to learn and listen and, you know, listen to your coach, to your mentor to your you know what your friends your family sometimes they could help you through it guide you slowly back to your path again it doesn't matter how long it takes just as long as you're able to pull yourself back onto your life path or you know if you're horseback riding as long as you could pull yourself back onto the trail to get back with your you know to the trail and the path to finish it off you know so i guess you could say that's what i kind of was running through my mind when I was going through my trail and after I was done and I I was just like you know what life is like an adventure you just have to ride it and don't be afraid even though you're afraid ride it anyways because you know what at the end when you're done riding it you're going to be so happy you're going to be smiling and you're just going to be posting up pictures of the victories and the overcomers um that you have overcome rather I know it's like all about horse but you know that's that's also life too as well you know once you you know the journey is not fun the trail may not be fun sometimes um when it hits you a curveball or it went crazy a little bit on you with life but you know when you overcome it and you're done with it and you finish writing um that little moment of your life in that trail riding the horses you're gonna come back and you're like gosh i'm so happy like i overcome it i i was able to go through it even though it was scary even though I was afraid, I was scared, I felt like I was alone, I couldn't control anything in my life or anything of that sort. But when I overcome it and I was able to live through it and gone through it, I'm actually glad of who I came out to be. 
and what I was able to overcome. You know, that was the greatest thing and the greatest feeling. Um, but, you know, you guys, it was such an, an adventure and it was fun and I learned so much from just riding this, this horse on the trail today. It made me thought a lot about life too, that sometimes life is like an adventure and we just have to ride it and don't be afraid. So thank you, you guys for just taking your moment just to come and hear my message and just to come hear my vlog and to hear my day. I really appreciate you guys and I hope that you guys have a blessed day and just know that, you know what, I am also on this life adventure with you guys as well. And don't be afraid if you are, um, just remember that God is always with you and um, don't be afraid. You guys have a good night and thank you for just coming to watch me. Bye.